Hey guys, today we're doing balancing poses. So you can do all of these with the use of a block, uh, but today I'll show you without. So grounding our feet, we're going to lift up our right foot first, coming onto our calf or our thigh, staying away from that knee joint. We're opening up that side of the hip. Hands can be at heart center or above you or out in cactus arms, whatever feels more comfortable for you. This pose strengthens our legs and ankles and even our feet muscles and it develops nervous balance. So we're focusing our energy in our third eye chakra. Taking nice long breaths here to transition from side to side, taking your foot down, walking it out, and then grounding that next foot, lifting that left foot onto your thigh or calf, trying to stay with what you did on the other side. And that goes for your hands as well. If you had your hands over top on your right side, do that on your left side as well. Our next position is our eagle pose. So our knees have to be bent. We're going to wrap that right leg around the left leg, trying to bring that foot down to the calf. If it doesn't and it just sticks out, that's totally fine. We're going to inhale our arms out nice and wide. And whichever hand goes underneath first, that's totally fine. Just remember which hand that is so you're doing the opposite on the other side. So nice and controlled, releasing, walking that out, and then going on to the, the other side so we're nice and balanced. This pose improves concentration, strengthens muscles, and loosens the joints in the shoulders, arms, and legs. We're focusing our energy on our root chakra here. Our next position is coming into a high plank. So I like to start in my downward dog and then transition, uh, bringing my weight forward, coming onto my hands, turning my left foot first here, stacking that right foot on top of the left foot, and then your uh, left hand can come up to either your hip or out into the sky. Uh, disregard my hair here. I just got dreads uh, five days ago, so they're just little fuzzies here. So transitioning from side to side, I like to put in a downward dog just to straighten out that spine and uh, maybe take a little bit of the stress from my hands and wrists for minutes. So we're trying to lift up that hip, trying to open up that chest. And we're focusing on our uh, solar plexus chakra in this position. So getting out of this position, just coming down into our tabletop position, going into our child's pose. Um, however this looks for you, it doesn't matter. Um, I would just like to take this time to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Um, I also have a novel that's published. If you are interested, the link is below. Thanks again for watching.